Oh, who's this uh, Leo? Mm. Oh, that's the guy you see every Wednesday night when you two ditch ceramics class together. Okay, if I always ditch ceramics, then where did this come from? The Philippines. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I go somewhere or you wouldn't be able to have babes over Wednesday night. You know about that? I do now. <laughs> hey, you know, what are we doing anyway? It's the 90s. I'm fine with you knowing that I have a normal physical... Uh, yeah, but sure, and, and I'm fine with you knowing that your mother has a, a healthy, active... Uh, have I mentioned what lovely work you've been turning out lately? Oh, an artist can't hear that enough. Well, I better get those upstairs bedrooms ready for everybody. I already did that. Oh, Matt. Not every guy would be thrilled with his big sister and her kids moving back home. Well, I wouldn't say thrilled. But I'm still living at home. I can see why a divorced woman with two kids would need to do the same thing. That's very mature of you. And I'm sure Vanessa will feel the same way. Yeah, which sets her up perfectly for the fake tarantula on the bedspread gag. Matthew. Oh, what? I'm supposed to forget that she totally sucked all the fun out of my childhood? You're exaggerating. One of my earliest memories is Vanessa yanking a pacifier out of my mouth and saying, Matthew, what's next, a cigarette? <laughs> to this day, every time I see a pack of Marlboros, I have to tinkle. God, you remind me of your father. The quick wit, right? No, the bladder trouble. <laughs> Yes, and you didn't have to ring the bell. You live here in your house. Oh, I know, Mom. I guess I just wanted to pretend for one brief shining moment that my life hasn't been flushed right into the... But Abby, we're finally here at this greater or what? Yeah, I got chills. Abby, why don't you go up and explore your new room? Fine. Call me when it's time to go away to college. Say, she really lights up her room, huh? <laughs> Listen, just give her some time to settle in. She'll chill out. That's your mom's room. <laughs> See, already I've taken her mind off her problems. Matthew, it's not going to be as easy as putting a rubber tarantula on a bedspread. Oh, you saw that coming. Look, it's hard for Abby. Leaving her friends, her school, starting something brand new. Trying to raise two kids as a single parent. Starting law school at 37, what am I doing? Vanessa? Huh? I think you kind of changed lanes there without signaling. Oh, don't listen to him. You're home now, honey. You just babble away to your heart's content. <laughs> Matthew, what I'm trying to say is that the kids are going through some changes that are going to have to be dealt with. And I'm saying I'm ready to deal. With sensitivity? No, it's football. <laughs> Lucas, my man, go long. I'll give it a try. Okay. You know what, maybe later. Much later. I'm taking the kids to their new school. Today? Why not today? Because it's their moving day. You know, in many countries, I believe a legal holiday. Then why don't you go to one and take the day off? I'll get your sister. Go jump in the car. Lucas, your mom like rap music? Pizza. 94.6. <laughs> Before I show these to the boss, what do you think of the pictures for your fire story? Hot. <laughs> the pictures. Um, look, I hope you don't think I'm, you know, forward or anything. I mean, I've only been working here a couple of days. Four and a half. <laughs> anyway, um, would you like to maybe sort of...
sometime. Yes, uh, absolutely. Oh, good. Great. What did we just agree to do exactly? I don't know, but how's Saturday? Quite open. Hey, what? Ooh, pictures! <laughs> Better let me have a look-see. Hi, Walter. Ooh. Ooh, tough call, tough call. Boy, I'm leaning toward the one with the big fire hose in the foreground. Tell you what, Lar, what say you and I discuss these after work over, say, a cappuccino? God, I love your instinct on the shot with the big hose in it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you do? Sure. It's a fire without a hose, a, a flame without something to make it sizzle. Don't you agree, Matt? Oh, because it's critical, essentially, yes. <laughs> Sure. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, you know, the one with the fire guy saving the little kitty is good, too. Oh, yes. A cat. Oh, they're so primal. <laughs> Walter, why don't you come into the dark room with me and help me decide? No, you pick. They're all fine. Completely fine. Well, okay. Maybe next time? I bet she knows she's doing that. Do you think she knows she's doing that? <laughs> yeah, well, she probably knows. I mean, yeah, she's a sweet kid and all, but way too blonde for me. <laughs> yeah, a guy could take her out on a sunny day and just lose her. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Hey, but hey, you know, if you have any interest, please step right up. Hey, thanks, pal. I owe you. <laughs> if you mean that, you'll swap assignments with me today. You got the Rotary Club story, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a bad little story, either. Listen, the treasurer's been skimming the dues. Matt, Matt, Matt. Spare me the journalistic hoo-ha, will ya? This is a luncheon meeting, right? <laughs> yeah, so? So? Come on, pal. You still live at home. You don't have to snag a free meal wherever you can. Here, take the Rotary Club story. Bon appetit. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The last time I swapped assignments with you, I ended up interviewing the second hairiest woman in Marina Del Rey. <laughs> Matt. It's over. Let it go. <laughs> now, this is just some story about a dolphin stuck near the Santa Monica Pier. Okay? Which one of you ladies has the dolphin story? I'm on it, Chief. Oh. And I assume the galloping gourmet here glommed onto the rotary thing. <laughs> just the luck of the draw, sir. Mm. Oh, Matt, uh, take a photog with you. Oh, I think Laura's available. Hey, you're the boss, sir. And if you have to work past dinner... Well, uh, go ahead and charge it to the paper. <laughs> Grandma, does this pool have one S or two? Two. But why? I'm supposed to write a stupid biography and read it to my new classmates. Am I in it? You don't want to know. <laughs> why don't you uh, read me what you have? I loved my life and my friends in San Diego. Then I was forced to move to the cesspool with my crummy little brother. All right, I am in it. Don't get up, don't get up. Just stop by to get a different jacket. I'm on my way to an assignment. Uh, Matt, Abby's doing a paper for school. Uh, you're a writer. Why don't you uh, give it a look? Okay, I might get in trouble with the union for this. <laughs> Step into my office. Whoa. Exactly. Honey, I think there are two M's in crummy. But you got cesspool, right? Spelling is what jumps out at you. Hey, you know what, guys? I just came up with a great idea. Why don't you guys tag along with me on this story? It could be fun. It's the beach. No way. Oh, come on, Abby. What have you got to lose? You know, besides that great attitude. <laughs> oh, then you did notice a problem with what Abby wrote. Are you kidding? Stephen King writes cheerier prose than this. <laughs> You don't think Vanessa will mind me taking him with me, do you? Oh, honey, how could she mind you doing something as unlike you as this? <laughs> you know, from her point of view. <laughs> what the heck was going through his mind, Mother? It's 9.30. Honey, relax. They probably can't get to a phone. Oh, there's a relaxing thought. <laughs> Let's think of all the fun places they could be that they can't get to a phone. Broken <laughs> down on the highway? Stuck in an elevator? Being held at gunpoint. <laughs> Where have you been? You're soaking wet. Mom, this dolphin and her babies are trapped inside the breakwater and we're all scared. Excuse me, I'll get them back out to the ocean. We eat tacos on a boat. Fat guys who smoke cigars. Boat? Oh, what boat? Uncle Mac got some fishermen to take us out past the breakwater so Laura can get the pictures. Who's Laura? A photographer, Mom. She is so cool. 
and so pretty. But as I know it's late, but there was no phone. I had to stay with the story. Well, I guess the important thing is everybody's home safe. But it is almost 10, and it is a school night, so you guys uh, get this wet stuff off and go hit the sack, okay? Uncle Matt? Yeah? Good night, and thanks. A lot. You're welcome. A lot. Grandma, can you tuck us in? Oh, well, okay. You know, I haven't tucked anyone in around here since, uh, well, since your Uncle Matthew saw Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> You know, Vanessa, I gotta take my hat off to you. I mean, I really thought you were gonna freak. Matt! You pulled them away from their homework. You put them on a boat in the ocean. You kept them out on a school night with cigar-chomping fishermen. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, maybe that until tonight I hadn't seen a smile on Abby's face since she got here. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. And I can't thank you enough for that. Ah, you don't have to thank me. I love her too, remember? Well, good night. Damn it, you almost did it again. <laughs> did what? Use that charm and disarm routine you've been using on me since you were five. Vanessa, that's not a routine. That's a gift. <laughs> and besides, everything came out okay. Yeah, tonight, but... As their mother, I have to look at the bigger picture. Vanessa, the bigger picture is that there's a whole big world out there. There's no crime to let them explore it. Ah, uh, spoken like someone who's never actually been a parent. Ah, uh, spoken like someone who's never actually been a kid. Oh, yeah? Then when did I learn to do this? <laughs> You're divorced, Harry. Great job with that dolphin piece yesterday. Shanghaiing that fishing boat to stay with the story. <laughs> Give Laura a pat on the back for me, too. I uh, already did, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> you know, kid, if it weren't for the tight economy, you'd be looking at a sweet little raise right now. That explains why my raise got shot down, right? No, that was purely my call. <laughs> uh, then perhaps you haven't had a chance to give my rotary story a read? Actually, I was more taken by what you didn't write. Oh, well, thanks, Mr. B. I believe that's called subtext. No, I believe it's called totally blowing the story. <laughs> Mr. B, this is really spooky because Walter and I were just discussing how we'd love to take another pass at that story, if it's okay with you, sir. Peters, you have a true friend at this paper. I know that, sir. And I want you to know your friendship means more to me. Not me, you meek all him. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Matt, I got here as soon as I could. As soon as you could what? As soon as I could ditch English class. Well, who told you to do that? Well, like you said, there's a whole world out there. There's no crime to go explore. So let's go. You in my office. Look, I'm really sorry. And not you. You. <laughs> Believe me, Mrs. Thayer, I'd hope they'd never see you again either. <laughs> but hey, here we are. <laughs> Boy, not much has changed in here in the last ten years. When I find what I like, I stay with it. Explains the dress. Vanessa. Wanda. Wanda? How's my Miss Pittmanship of 1967? Well, I was fine until I heard about what Abby's done. Obviously, she had some help. Hey, 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 for the record, I'm the one who brought this little truant back to school. And I caught you trying to sneak her back into class. I would have made it, too. When'd you change the locks? <laughs> the day you left. <laughs> Abby, I want an explanation. If the child's been spending any time with this troublemaker, the explanation is painfully obvious. Much like your arrangement with Janitor Bob. <laughs> Screw the pension! Let's get it on! <laughs> Mrs. Thayer! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, your brother always brought out the worst in me. <laughs> he has that effect on people. <laughs> Which is precisely the point I was trying to make last night. Listen, do we have to have this discussion in front of Bigfoot over here? <laughs> is that what you used to call me, behind my back? No, when we were behind your back, we called you Big... Matthew! <laughs> right, Mom. Like, I haven't heard the word butt before. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh boy, some things never change. Potato peeling detail was Vanessa's favorite punishment when I was your age, too. Of course, when I was your age, potatoes weren't invented. We peeled rocks. The only problem with peeling rocks is you can never tell when you were done. Finally, I was beginning to think I'd lost my touch there. No, see, Mom said I couldn't talk to you. She did? You. Nice move. Where were we? I don't know where you were. I'm grounded with no TV for two weeks. Well, Abby, did you think you could just ditch classes whenever you wanted to? Well, no, but she didn't have to go all ballistic about it. Well, trust me, she's not half as freaked about you cutting school as she is about me being a bad influence on you. But you weren't. Well, not really. I just figured it'd be more fun down at the paper than in English class. Well, Abby, that was wrong, and you know it. But the point is, your mom thinks you cut classes because of me. She's just trying to protect you. From you? Look, remember when we were out on that boat? And we were trying to get the mama dolphin and her babies out of the breakwater and back into the ocean? Of course I remember. It was great. Yeah, well, the mama dolphin didn't think so. She saw our boat as a threat, even though we were just trying to help her. Yeah, she was freaked. See, that was her instinct. It was natural. And she couldn't feel safe about her family until our boat backed off and let her relax enough to swim to open water. Because she's the parent, and it's her right to feel that way. So what do you say? <sighs> Anchors away. Mother, imagine how I felt. My daughter, on her second day at her new school, being reprimanded in the principal's office. Bigfoot still wearing that same dress? <laughs> Oh, you'd think it was just a disintegrated by now. <laughs> Mom, I can't be looking over my shoulder all the time, worried about Matthew's effect on the kids, wondering what's next. So stop looking over your shoulder and talk to him. He'll understand. He's a smart man. Man? We talking about the same Matthew? <laughs> you know what? In all my excitement, I forgot to tell you guys about my big news at the paper today. It can wait. Look, things have to change around here. I am no longer earning minimum wage. Super. Now, the only way that this is going to work... Which means I can finally afford to get a place of my own. What? Well, not exactly a place of my own. See, my buddy Walt has been looking for somebody to share his luxury condominium, and now I finally have the bucks to take him up on it. Oh, Matt, slow down a second here. Now, Mom, I know what you're thinking, but with Vanessa and the kids around, you won't even have time to miss me. Honey, it's not a question of missing you. That's the spirit, Mom. Well, listen, I want to get packed up and over to my new condo. New condo? Does that sound sweet or what? Well, there's that change you were looking for. Oh, Mom, I know you're upset about Matthew finally leaving the nest. Mm, you know that, do you? And yet, I'm sensing that you blame me. You know, I raised five kids in this house, and I never had a one of them lie to my face until Matt did just now. Why? About what? Oh, please, in this goofed-up economy, there's no way he got a big raise. And as for sharing a place with Walter, I have met Walter. <laughs> if he's got a luxury condo, I've got ceramics class on Wednesday nights. Uh, Matt, <laughs> you're, you're going to get a kick out of this. Our mother has this wacko idea that you're lying about getting that raise. <laughs> she does? That you're actually moving because of me. <laughs> Is that nuts? Well, that's our mom, you know, God love her. <laughs> <laughs> so would you please go down and tell her she's wrong? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I never could lie to that lady. Excuse me? Look, I respect your right to be protective of your kids. I mean, it's like a big fish that's afraid of a boat. What, what fish? All right, technically it's a mammal. <laughs> anyway, listen, I understand why you're so tense. I mean, I tell Abby to go explore the world, and bam, she ditches class. I teach Lucas how to throw a curveball, and bam, he breaks the window in your Volvo. He did what? <laughs> it was probably vandals. <sighs> anyway, it took a lot of guts for you to leave a bad marriage and take on law school with two kids to raise. And this is where you need to be to do that. 
So? It's an easy call for me. I'm out of here. Then there's no <clears throat> big raise? That depends on what you mean by big. Any? Then no. <laughs> Matthew, you're moving out of a place you love just so that I can feel better about being here? Well, seems like the way to go. No, stop, please. If you can do something as unselfish as that, then... Maybe I've been wrong about you. And Mom was right. Hey, she was right about Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I've just been so scared about getting this new life together. I, I've been even more tense than usual. Actually, it didn't seem all that different than when I was little. You think I liked being the oldest? You think I liked having to bust you and our sisters? No, no. I guess it was just that little victory dance you used to do on the coffee table. It always confused us. Okay, I was tough. But you weren't the easiest kid to deal with. Hey, no argument there. And I guess that if you weren't so tough, maybe I wouldn't have turned into such a... Man. And thank you. Thank you. Hey, Uncle Matt, can we camp out in the backyard tonight? Absolutely. No way. You heard your mother, no way. Aw. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the way things got to go around here, little man, so get used to it. Matthew, I'll just say it. I'm impressed. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'll see you guys downstairs for dinner. After we both wash our hands. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen, at 10.15, you'll hear two pebbles hit your window. Shimmy down the trellis. Our tent will be set up behind the jacuzzi. I oh, haven't going there for a sec. <laughs> continues right after this. Mom, the sprinklers are on a timer, right? Yeah, I believe so, dear. Why? Because I need the ones in the backyard to go off at, oh, say, about 10, 16. <laughs> okay, it'll make you happy. It'll make me ecstatic. <laughs> Vanessa, no dancing on a coffee table. <laughs> 